Hello, Philadelphia. I am here in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. A good, dear friend of mine, Laura Gretsch, who is an incredible animal advocate. She calls me to help her out with what is a feral cat epidemic here. There's over 400,000 feral cats on the streets of Philadelphia. That's huge. And spring around the corner means kitten season. Numbers are going up around here. We need to get a handle on this right now. Community cats is an umbrella term that we use to describe cats that are living on the street. Now, some may have been pets that were simply turned loose, but the majority are feral, which is to say these are cats that were born and raised on the street. Some feral cats have absolutely no social contact with humans. Others are fed by caregivers and are much more trusting, but just because they're approachable doesn't mean that you should take them home. In most cases, they just won't thrive. You called the cab? Hey, buddy. Hey, baby. How are you? How are you doing? Welcome to Philadelphia. I got a car. I got you. I would love to see some colonies around here. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Jackson and I met about 10 years ago at an event at the SPCA in San Francisco, and we hit it off immediately. I need you to help me recruit some volunteers, Jackson. You can help me jazz up the troops, get a new generation involved. We get daily, you're talking 25, 30, up to 35 newborn kittens coming into the shelters, and it's winter. And you know what comes after winter. Kitten season. Kitten season. We're going to be making more kittens. I want to save these cats, and I want to save them by doing the right thing for them. Trap them, neuter them, return them. It's not a rehome, it's not a rescue. The only way that we can effectively manage these feral communities is through a system that we call Trap, Neuter, Return, or TNR. We humanely trap these guys, neuter them, and then put them back out here with their colonies so that they no longer reproduce. Now, it may seem counterintuitive to show that you care about these cats by putting them back out here, but this is their home. TNR is the only humane way to help today's cats live better lives while effectively controlling their numbers in the future. People don't realize that that one cat that they save off the street is actually connected to hundreds of kittens that were never born and were prevented from either dying out on the street or being brought into a shelter and being killed because they're not adoptable. You know, I, I think that one of the other things that people don't get is people that these guys them. who trap and neuter and return, they also Take care manage of these those guys. colonies. Exactly. Today we asked community cat experts Kathy and Christy to meet us. Hey. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. Together we're going to visit some colonies and hopefully get a handle on this epidemic. I'm Christy Rojero. I'm the program manager for Cat Positive at the Jackson Galaxy Project. I run a group called Temple Cats, basically a volunteer group of a handful of students trying to help community cats. These guys are introducing me to a caregiver who's dedicated nearly 10 years of her life to helping Philly's community cats. Here she is. Hi, Pat. Hey, this Pat. Is Jackson. I'm Jackson. Hi. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. I'm the caretaker for 80 cats. I trap them, get them fixed, and feed them daily. I come out every day, 365 days a year. Oh, hi. That's Bob Alexander. He's a little bit shy, so he's not coming out right now. And then there's a few others, um, Calypso and uh, Mommy and Joshua. Started off just feeding the cats that were on my street, which is about 20 cats at that time. And then it grew because people were telling me about other cats that were starving, and then I ended up feeding them. How many sort of colonies are there? I have at least 11 different locations that I go to every day. Every day? Every day. Where do you get your food from? I do get some Social Security. So 99% of that goes to feeding the cast. Um, the rest goes for me to buy my medicine because I have a lot of major health issues. I have congestive heart failure, kidney disease, oh, <laughs> and man. some other issues also. And are you the only one doing all this? That I know in this area. What? If Pat wasn't here right now, these cats would have nothing. Pat is alone. And that's a lot of cats for one person to be dealing with without her. These cats would be dead. If I see them and I know that they're hungry, I start feeding them and then I eventually, you know, get them fixed. You're exactly the kind of person that we want to be able to shine a light on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you need some help. Pat is alone, in poor health, 365 days a year, 80 cats. She needs somebody able-bodied, healthy, to pass the baton to. Bye, Pat. Bye. See you later. See you. <laughs> okay, Mr. Bob. 
I'm gonna see you tomorrow, little boy, okay? The fact that she can actually be out here alone. Every day. Yeah. Yep. That's help. upsetting. She needs help. I definitely can pull together resources. I'm gonna use everything I got at my disposal to help these guys out for sure. Go. Laura's gotten word of an area that apparently has one colony with over 50 feral cats. Now this I gotta see. Can you grab some food out of the back? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, look! They're coming out of a hole, man. The freakiest thing right now is that as we get closer, there's holes all over these buildings. Okay, I gotta know. I have to know. Yeah, yeah look. Me too. I have to know. Me too. I'm going down. You guys got anything? Uh, infrared camera. Now I got this little camera on a stick, and that's going right under the building. Okay, we're coming in. Oh my god, I hope I don't lose this camera. <laughs> Find a pipe. Oh wait, I see somebody. Oh my god, look, 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 look. <gasps> oh my god. Look at that, look at that. That's one freaking hole. As I'm holding the camera under the building, I see a pair of eyes. And then all you gotta do is move six inches and there's five more. I see cats and there could be dozens more. This is the prime example of a colony where we gotta trap as many of these cats as we can and get them spayed and neutered. What I'd also like to do is bring in what we call feral houses. They're just retrofitted plastic storage bins lined with styrofoam and filled with straw to help hold in the heat. Providing a great alternative shelter can get these cats out from under this cold concrete building and help them survive this winter. It's okay, it's okay, don't be scared. Where are your food plates? Holy moly, look. Look at this. <gasps> oh man, everyone's coming out. Oh my, they're everywhere. Holy. God, there are so many cats here. They're just coming out of the woodwork. We have a ton of cats. One, two, three, four, five, six, Hi. seven, eight, nine, ten. You, 11, kitten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19. I counted like upper 20s and I lost count. I'm counting 22 at this point, right in this little spot. Usually if I see 10, I assume there's 30. Yeah. yeah. And this is one tiny corner of this I property. I know, man, this place is this big. This is a huge property. I've been trapping for more than 10 years. This is more than I've ever seen come out all at once. So we have feral houses here. Look at how marked up they are, man. We see some sort of standard issue feral houses. There's no straw inside them. There's no insulation. I mean, there's multiple structures here, which makes me think that multiple people have been involved over multiple years, and it just keeps dropping off because there's not enough. So clearly, somebody just got overwhelmed. Whoever did this did it a long time ago, and since then, the colonies multiplied, and now the cats are forced to seek shelter under the building. We're going to need at least 50 shelters brought here. If you can get a whole bunch of people and train them to trap, I mean, we can turn this into a thing. I mean, we can turn this into an event. This is easy trapping. We bring a bunch of brand new trappers in here and say, we're gonna teach you how to trap, and Volunteers. I guarantee you will trap a cat on your first try. So this is like trap school here? This is mm -hmm. trap school. That's amazing. Yep. Philly needs to know that these cats are out here, struggling to survive. I mean, people care for the cats in their lap. We need to translate that to caring about the cats in their own backyard. All right. We're going to see you soon with a trap in my hand. <laughs>